The worst feeling in the world comes when you love someone and a third person comes between the two of you. The story of today's movie is like this, today I am going to explain to you Earthquake Bird movie. At the beginning of the movie, we meet our main character Lucy, who used to work as a translator in Japan. That day when Lucy goes to her office, her friend tells that the police have found a body and they think that this body belongs to her friend Lily, so the police want to talk to her. Now the police take her to the police station to talk and they say that the last time you spoke to Lily before she disappeared. The police also say that you went after her too. In response, Lucy says that I have gone to meet her, but could not find her. Now Lucy is asked about her boyfriend, Lucy says she is single, after which we are shown a flashback to when Lucy first met the guy. Once Lucy was on her way from work and a photographer took her photo without her permission. The photographer's name is Teji and he is also a main character of our story. Then Lucy tells him that if you take photos of people without permission, don't people get angry with you? In response, Teji tells her that if I take a photo with permission, then the photo will get spoiled, so I do not take permission, and I never take photos of people. I only take photos of nature, I liked you so I took your photo. After this Teji used to work in the hotel, calls Lucy there for a date and then Lucy starts talking on different topics. Now Teji says that people always keep things in their mind and keep talking about nonsense. It would be better if both of us could speak our mind with each other. I fell in love with you the first time I saw you. Lucy also likes him. Teji asks Lucy what's going on in your mind and Lucy tells that I didn't want to come on date because the soup here is not good, but she liked Teji so she came here on a date. Now after this they both finish their soup and go to Teji's house because Teji wants to take some photos of Lucy. Lucy sees Teji's house, where he had pasted many photos, which was quite amazing and Teji does not ask Lucy to stand in any pose and starts taking her photo. Just then an earthquake comes and both of them hide in the cupboard. After the end of earthquake, he could hear the sound of a bird and hence the name of the movie Earthquake Bird. The next day Lucy goes to her violin class and there her friends keep a surprise gift for her because today was Lucy's birthday. At night Lucy meets an American friend and her friend says that I want to introduce you to a girl. He wanted Lucy to help the girl find a house and the girl's name was Lily. Lucy does not like this much because if she starts taking care of everyone, then she will never be able to find time for herself. Now Lily was of friendly nature so she mixes with Lucy. She says that due to the language barrier here, she is facing a lot of difficulty in finding a home. Here Teji had developed Lucy's photo, which turned out to be very beautiful. Now Lucy tells her friend about Teji. Her friend asks are you too intimate? So Lucy says that nothing like this has happened yet. I'm not thinking about it right now. One day while Teji was taking Lucy's photo out, Lucy begins to take off her clothes and Teji stops her. Lucy doesn't understand Teji. In the next scene, we see Lucy trying on a Japanese dress with her friend. Lucy was with Kato who was also her teacher. Lucy was looking very beautiful in a Japanese dress. Lucy asks Kato that you are so old but why didn't you get married? Kato says that she is more educated so Japanese boys don't like it that much and she had developed her life very well anyway, so she doesn't even have time. Now these two are talking, only then one of their friends is coming from below, so Lucy goes to see her but as soon as she goes there, her friend Yamamoto falls down the stairs in surprise, due to which she also died there. Lucy was greatly disturbed by this. Now at night Lucy tells all this to Teji and says that wherever I go death is always following me. Then Teji shows her the picture of his auntie who was dead and he tells that, it is like this with him too and he can understand her pain. Now after this both kiss each other and become intimate. The next day, Lucy sees a house for Lily and she loves the house and rents it out. Then they both go to a restaurant together. Now Lucy and Lily have become very good friends. One day Teji takes Lucy's photo and after developing it keeps it locked at a place, Lucy asks him will you ever show me what you locked? Teji says that his right time will come and at that time I will show you all this. In the next scene, we see Lucy going to a club with her American friend. There she also talks about Teji with her friends and tells them that even though they are different, they spend a lot of time together when they are together. While Lucy is talking about Teji, Lily asks her if she can also meet Teji. And Lucy gives yes to it. On the way back, Lucy's leg gets twisted and she gets hurt. Lily then helps her out and she explains that she wasn't always jobless. She was a nurse before and she knows about it and she can fix her leg. Once when Lucy was with Teji she told Teji that you take such good photos, so why don't you sell it? Teji refuses, but when Lucy forces it, he gets angry and leaves Lucy at work. Now Lucy was very serious, she wanted to see what Teji was hiding from her. So she goes to his house again. She comes to his house and starts taking out all the files from his cupboard. There was a file named after a girl, when she opened it, there were many photos of her inside. 
Seeing this, she starts thinking but then Teiji comes there and he tells that it is his ex-girlfriend whom he was trying to forget. Lucy asks what happened to her, Teiji tells her that she left for one day and never came back. Lucy then says sorry to Teiji. After this, when Lucy comes to meet Teiji with Lily, Lily asks if the three of us can go somewhere together? And Lucy also gets excited for this and says yes. Then the three of them travel to many places together and at night when Lucy and Lily come back home, Lily tells Lucy that Teiji is so handsome and that he really loves her. Lucy liked this very much and she says that she knows how to read hands, so she starts reading Lily's hand. Lucy sees Lily's hand and tells that she sees accidental death in it, after which she sees something in her hand and the expression on her face changes. Lily asks her what did you read like this in my hand? But Lucy doesn't tell her anything. The earthquake strikes again at night and frightens Lily, but Lucy somehow manages to put her to sleep again. The next morning, Lily tells Lucy that she slept very well. When Lucy asks if the earthquake didn't hurt you, she says which earthquake? Meant she had completely forgotten about it when she was well awake at that time. Lucy finds this very strange. One day Lucy asks Teiji if he would like to come to the club with her friend? And Teiji likes the idea. Teiji went to get a drink. An American friend is chatting with Lucy and he tells that Lily and he are dating but she is very strange. Sometimes a lot of things happen between us, but Lily completely forgets about him and pretends like nothing has happened. At the party we see Teiji and Lily dancing with each other, which Lucy doesn't like at all. On her way back from the club, Lucy talks to Teiji about this and Teiji says that she is a very good dancer so what's the harm in dancing with her? Lucy asks Teiji about his old girlfriend. Teiji had only one girlfriend before, so he asks Lucy about her first time and Lucy explains that she went to her friend's place when she was 14 and after drinking, her friend's father took advantage of her. Teiji feels very bad after hearing this, Lucy says that after that she became pregnant and she goes and tells this to her friend's father and upon hearing this her friend's father commits suicide but later she found out that in fact she was not pregnant. Teiji supports Lucy after hearing all this, and so this was also one of the reasons why Lucy felt that death always followed her wherever she went. Lily then asks Lucy and Teiji out for a weekend and they both agree to it. Although Teiji had always been busy, he readily agreed to it. After that, when those people are having dinner, Lily tells that when she was a nurse, she used to try to save everyone's life. Some people used to die too but she doesn't feel bad for it because she was always trying to save and here it comes to know the difference between Lily and Lucy. Where Lucy used to take everything negative, Lily was very positive. While sleeping at night, Lucy dreams that all three of them are getting intimate and she was very disturbed by this. She felt that Teji and Lily were coming closer to each other. The next day all three of them go on a trek and Lucy's health starts deteriorating a bit so she starts sleeping at the same place. When she wakes up she sees that neither Teji nor Lily was with her. She is terrified of this and hurriedly back into town. Lucy finds them both in a cave and says to both of them that how can you guys leave me like this and come back, what is going on between you? Lily says that she didn't want to wake her up so they left a note in her pocket. This makes Lucy feel bad and she goes back. Teji follows Lucy and hugs her saying everything is fine, I love you so much, there is nothing to be afraid of. After this, when their weekend is over, they are on their way back from the station to their house. When she comes back to return the goods, she finds that Lily and Teji are meeting each other again, and Teji is taking Lily's photo. This confirms to Lucy that they are having an affair. Now if you remember, Lucy was telling all this to the police and she says in front of the police that I am guilty. After that she continues the story. Lucy was heartbroken after seeing this and she no longer had to live in this city so she went to visit Teji again but Lily was sitting there too. One day Lily comes to Lucy's house to say sorry, but Lucy doesn't forgive her and starts following Lily when she leaves. And if you remember, the police had asked Lucy the first question about this. Now Lucy herself had said that she was guilty so the police arrested her. But the next day it is revealed that the body they found is not that of Lily. The next day the police officer asks Lucy that the statement you gave was wrong, so what actually happened, tell us the real story? Lucy says that she wanted Lily to die so she told herself to be guilty, but she didn't kill Lucy. Lucy tells that in childhood her brother and his friends used to throw stones at her, so one day she angrily pushed her brother, due to which he died there. Everyone used to say that it was an accident, but the way Lucy was seen by her family members, she felt that she was to blame. This thing was always eaten by her from inside, so she came to Japan, leaving her house. The policeman explained that you are not guilty, you have never done any bad deed. After this the police released Lucy. Teiji was also missing for a few days so the police think that Lily and Teiji may have run away with each other. After this we are shown that Lucy comes to Teiji's house and starts looking at his file, which contains many of his files. There was a pic, 
but after a while the pics of Lily start coming in and we see that one of the pics was Lily's dead body. This photo was taken at Teji's house. This means Teji killed Lily. As we know that Lily used to forget about the important event so maybe she did something similar to Teji and Teji killed her in anger. With all this information, Lucy goes to the police, but tonight there was no inspector, so she comes back home and sees Teji there. Teji asks Lucy what did you tell them and Lucy says I didn't tell anything, so Teji tells her that let's go from here and start a new life, everything will be fine, she refuses due to which he starts crying on the same. He gets angry with this and starts beating Lucy. He strangles her, during which a glass is also broken. To save her life, Lucy inserts the glass into his head, due to which he dies on the spot. Now Lucy had another death on her hands. Lucy visits her friend Kato and tells her that death follows me wherever I go and Yamamoto's death was the same but Kato stops her and says that there is nothing like that. The day Yamamoto walked off the stairs, I waxed the stairs, which I do only once in two years, so does that mean I killed her? All these things are not in our hands and the one whose death has to come, it comes in some way or the other. After hearing all this, Lucy gets tears in her eyes and she forgives herself. With this, this movie ends.